Hey guys, it's Ashley with AMJ Graphics and today I'll be explaining how to apply patterns to an SVG file. If you haven't watched my previous video on how to make an SVG file, I'll drop the link below. I advise watching that because before you apply patterns, it has to be in an SVG format. Okay, so I grabbed this clip from Google and I converted it into an SVG. I'm going to make sure that everything looks right by clicking my nodes and you can see that there is this one little random node over here and I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna hit the delete button okay so now we're ready to work with it um, I'm going to apply a cheetah background to the lips I want it to be cheetah so we have this in SVG we can click we see the nodes I'm just gonna go to Google and I typed in cheetah print background and you can pick whichever one you like I'm gonna second click it and I'm gonna copy the image and the bigger the image the clearer it will be whenever you print out the picture come back into Inkscape and second click and I'm gonna paste it okay I'm gonna make it the size of my lips So we want the print to be on the bottom. I'm going to select the print and hit page down. Okay, the lips are on top. Okay, you can see that the print is selected and I'm going to select the lips too. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and click the lips. Okay, I'm going to go up to object, go down to clip and go over to set. Okay, now to save this image, you're gonna want to make sure that your export PNG tab over here is up there. If it's not, hit Control Shift E. It'll pop up on the right. I'm gonna I wanna make sure that the the object that I'm saving or the image that I'm saving is selected. And you can see at the top of the export PNG image tab it says export area and it says selection and it's highlighted we want to make sure that the selection is highlighted and then you're gonna go over and you're going to export as and you're gonna tell your computer where which folder you want this to be in I wanted it to be in my documents so I click the documents I'm gonna give it a name I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to export it and it's going to go exactly where I told it to go. Okay, another thing I want to touch on is you've got the measurements of the lips, you got the unlock. If you lock that, it's going to keep the proportion of the lips as it is now. Down here, you can drop this down and put it into inches. These lips are about 14 inches wide and 8 tall. If I'm wanting to do a full shirt, just keep in mind, save the image to the size that you're wanting to print it. But it's as simple as that. Um, that was it for today, guys. Please give me a like, letting me know that I helped you in any way. If you have any questions, please comment below or send me an email. And I'll put my email in the bottom. But any questions, I would be glad to help. Thanks, guys. Happy creating.